Story time. It is story, story, story time. Yippee! It's time for a new story. Everyone's ready. One, two, three. In a tiny school in the Uttarakhand hills, Himani and her classmates learn how to solve real life problems. The story takes you through her diary entries as she learns the steps to solve problems, big and small. The title of the story, How to Solve a Problem Like Himani, written by Mala Kumar, illustrated by Ruchi Shah and students of Himalayan Public School, Uttarakhand. Published by Pratham Books, narrated by Asavari Doshi. For many more stories, visit our website www.booksthatspeak.com. Let's meet Himani. March 28. It's so hot here. Golu was very naughty today. She climbed up a slant and would not come down. Silly goat. Seema and Gullu had to help me get her down. March 30th. I can see the snow-capped Himalayan peaks. Nandakot, Maiktoli, Panchachuli, Chokhamba. But Kumau is dry. Gullu and I help Ija and Baiju get water from the pump down the road or from the stream further down. Oof! Wish the water could reach us directly from the snowy mountains. Drinking water is difficult to get even in January when it snows. Just for information, Ija and Baiju, these are the Kumai words for mother and father. April 2nd. Our 10-day summer workshop with Reena Didi started today. She has come from Mumbai. She asked us thousands of questions. What do you like about school? What do you not like about school? How do you commute to school? Suddenly she turned to me and asked the meaning of my name. Himani means snow, I said. Why does she ask so many questions? April 3rd. What a fun day it was. We played a game. One of us needed to think of a problem that we might have faced and state it in the form of a question. Then another classmate had to ask a question related to it. It was almost like a chain story. We had so many questions. How can we get clean drinking water in school? Why do we need clean water? Where will the water come from? Why can't we have a pipe straight from the melting glaciers? Why do you ask such questions? Why don't we concentrate on our water problem? Why can't we have a water filter? Where will we get a water filter from? Why can't we make it? Who knows how to make one? So many questions. April 4th. We were surfing the internet when I found this chart. The title of the chart was Solve any problem step by step. Identify the problem. Find out everything you can about the problem. Discuss. Decide on the most suitable idea. Try it out. If you succeed, very good. If not, try another idea. Could we really solve a problem using this method? April 5th. At school, we made a list of our problems. How many problems do we have? Big problems. No direct water at home or school. Slippery roads to school during the monsoon. No hospital or clinic nearby. Landslides. Leeches in our socks during the rains. Neighbors who get violent after drinking. Problems we can solve. Unclean drinking water. Heavy school bag. Unlit paths at night. Plastic bottles everywhere. April 6th. Worked with Ija and Baiju in the cauliflower patch. Then ran to school for problem solving day. We went out in pairs to the library and to talk to our teachers and to each other.
Then we came back to class. First step, identify. The problem is unfiltered drinking water at school. Students keep falling sick because of this. Second is find out. Why is getting clean water a problem here? Many streams around Kumao are supposed to have pure water. There are no streams near our school. Third step, discuss. We found out that some people use cloth. This only filters bigger sediments, not harmful bacteria. Manorama said they have a small water filter at home. Moringa seeds in water pots help purify water, said a teacher. Fourth step, decide. Would a water purifier help us? Try it out. We all drew water filters. We decided we needed one that could be attached to the nozzle of our water drum. Santosh Bhai and Ashish Bhai, our seniors, helped us make a water filter based on our drawings. They have taken a few days off from college to make a water catchment system in our school. The filtered water tasted so fresh and clean. So what was that in that filter? The topmost layer, pebbles. Then next, moringa seeds. Next, coarse sand. Then next, charcoal. And then fine sand. And the last one is cloth. April 11. In the last three days, we have done a lot of art. We have applied the problem-solving method to come up with more ideas. Cycle plow. Does not require cattle or a tractor to pull it. Good for narrow step farms. Bottle torch. Torch made with recycled parts. Fitted inside a discarded plastic bottle so that dampness does not spoil it. Dampness spoils battery operated torches very quickly in this region. Then mini irrigator. Drip irrigation for crops like grapes that need soil to stay hydrated. Made with recycled water bottles attached to plants like IV tubes in the hospitals. April 13. Now that the workshop is over, we are all busy with harvesting and packing apricots, pears, apples and robodendron flowers. Aija and Baiju are so nimble and good at picking fruits. Not me. Yesterday, I slipped and twisted my ankle while picking fruit. No fracture, thank God. I wish I had a gadget that could pick fruits for me. Maybe we could train Golu and the other goats to pick fruits. <laughs> Seriously, how wonderful it would be to have an efficient, safe, eco-friendly apple picking machine. Satkhol tells, this story was inspired by the work of the walking school bus during their Himalayan expeditions in 2018. TWSB works towards providing safe transport, nutrition and innovative literacy programs. Their contest Search for Jugaad sought inventive and scalable ideas that could enable people to find local solutions to challenges of education specific to their community. The images in this story were drawn by Divya, Manasa, Pooja, Dipanshu J, Ritesh, Lakshit, Ujwal, Dipanshu N and Pushpa, the students from class 3rd to class 8th of Himalayan Public School, Uttarakhand. Over 80 students were part of the art classes conducted by TWSB, that is the walking school bus. Wow, that was fun, right? Do you want to hear more stories like this? Yes! Then log on to www.boxdadspeak.com Eruwa wee! Eruwa wee! Eruwa